Hello, my beautiful YouTubers. Top of the morning. Okay, so today's video is gonna be kind of like about me. <laughs> yeah, like, I wanna share actually something with you guys, and I think it's a pretty cool story to share with you guys. So, I'm gonna share my story with you guys. Oh, and by the way, last night I made steak and asparagus, so go like and subscribe. <laughs> Love you guys. Okay, so today's video will be when I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> Yes, it, today will be when I found out I was pregnant. Okay, so um, I wanted to share with you guys because I know that I'm not the only person or the only mom out there that's like been like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, being pregnant for the first time. So, okay. So when I found out I was pregnant, so the day before that, me and my honey, we went to Reno, whatever. Reno is here in California. And you know what you do in Reno. You go and have fun and whatever. So we went to Reno. And the next day, we're coming back. But the next day after I woke up, I didn't feel good. But of course, I thought I was hungover. I was like, okay, bitch, I'm hungover. Like, whatever happens. And I, was, and I just did not feel good. But it was like a different hangover. Because the hangover lasted all day. And usually my hangovers like last until I wake up like around 9, 10. They last like 4. Girl, you know, I already got this like all measured. So until like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I'm starting to feel better. But girl, I did not feel better. I did not feel better. And the next day, I was supposed to get my T-O-M. And I was like, okay, okay, we ready, we ready. I got, you know, I get myself prepared. And... My period didn't come. My period didn't come. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I was like, okay, maybe it's going to come at night. You know, I'm still like, hello, pendeja. Mira que tenés en el... el que tenés en la mente. Le tenés caca porque you was pregnant. But then my... I didn't want to admit that I was pregnant. I just did not want to admit I was pregnant. And I, I just didn't think of... I couldn't get pregnant. Like, I was like, no, that pregnancy wave is not going to hit me. Wah, 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 wah. I've dodged it. I've dodged it. Dodged it. Dodged it. Dodged it. But this time, the pregnancy wave was like, hey, bitch. So, I found out I was pregnant by myself. Because I had, like, um, my boyfriend was at work or whatever. And then I had to take pregnant. You know, I took the pregnancy test. And I, t I took the first one. And my heart was like, I was like, bitch like i'm taking a pregnancy test like what the fuck and then i see those two lines those two lines that changed my life forever those two lines that made my fucking heart drop and i was like holy fuck i am pregnant you know what I mean? Like, oh shit, I'm pregnant. And then, but then I'm still in my head. I'm like, no, 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 let me take another one. Let me take another one. I took another one. And I was like, oh my God, I saw those two lines again. I was like, damn. I'm pregnant, bitch. I'm pregnant. 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 And that, that could all just go in my mind. Like, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. And I, I was 22. I was about to be 23. I was 22 when I found out I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant on March 2nd of 2018. I still remember. And it was like around 4 o'clock when I found out I was pregnant. And um, I immediately, you know, called my boyfriend. And we were both shocked because, bitch, we went to go buy more pregnancy tests. I bought like a real one, like a clear blue one that said, bitch, you is pregnant. Bitch, you is not pregnant. And this one that said, pregnant the fuck knit. And I was like, oh my God, I'm really pregnant. And then that night we took another pregnancy test. And then I was like, wow, okay. So I immediately called the doctor. And then I immediately called the doctor. And then uh, you have to wait a few weeks, you know, because you could be like either two weeks pregnant, three weeks, whatever. By the time I went to my first doctor's appointment, Gianni's was about, it took me about two, three weeks to make that appointment. And then when I went to get my sonogram that day, Gianni's was about like a month. So when I found out I was pregnant, pregnant, I was like a week, a week already, a week and a half. You know, I was, Gianni's was like, dee -dee 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 -dee. and I, you know, I had no clue. And I just felt bad because I was like, damn, dude, you just feel bad because you're like, 
I literally like was just having a blast and like partying or whatever. And then I found out I was pregnant. Like if I known, I would have never done that, you know? And I just feel like that mothers have that guilt inside of them that you drink and you do all these, you know, you just and have fun and you, you know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. You, as, as women, like you don't know the first week. You don't, you have no idea. Some people do, but, you know, I, 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 well, obviously I didn't. Like, it was my first pregnancy. Like, what the hell? And then, um, yeah. And then a few weeks later, that's when I went to the doctors. And then they actually confirmed, like, girl, he's your baby. You see what I remember right here? This is your baby. And I we heard the heartbeat. And then I, I went with my boyfriend. And then we heard the baby's heartbeat. And it was emotional because i was only 22 you know what i mean and like obviously my i've had people like take care of yourself take care of the, don't get pregnant and i mean it happens and I, it happens and i took a role as a mother being very very young i was 22 i had him at 23 i'm 24 now i'll be 25 next month oh my god and um it's it's fucking hard it's hard. It's it's hard being a mother, and it's hard, you know, transforming into that life at such an early age, at such a young age, and becoming a young mother. But it's all possible. It's honestly all possible because when you have your kids, it changes your life, not for the worse, but for the better. It makes you mature quicker. It makes you be the best version of yourself, you know, and I feel like I'm still learning. I'm still, I'm still learning to be a mom. I'm still learning to be like, know who I am, who I have been becoming and who I have been maturing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean to just throw you guys all these advice, but I know there's mothers out there that need help and that mothers out there that go through all this you know, transformation. It's not easy, you know, and I think god that i had such a great support system with my um boyfriend's family and then obviously my family too my mom was my number one rock she was there for me so when i you know since the day i would i told her she was fucking pissed though oh my gosh she wanted to fucking murder me but then you know she's like Ay, but now she's like Ay, you know, she loves Gianni. Gianni is her life and it is her first boy so she loves her baby but anyways um it, it's it's hard you know i know it is hard but you you gotta do what you gotta do and i feel like i uh i i changed dramatically like i became from partying every week and just doing what the hell i wanted to do to becoming a mom and only because you could become a mom doesn't mean that you're boring. So don't fucking think that. Because you could still be hella fun and do whatever you want to do and still take care of yourself. And I feel like after a year later, I'm still learning how to do that. I'm still learning that process. But it is an amazing ride. And when I, you know, obviously when I was pregnant with Gianni's, it was beautiful. Like, Johnny's gave me a beautiful pregnancy. I feel my hair grew. My skin was clear. I had, I would, I would wake up nauseous and stuff, but it wasn't that bad. And so, and it wasn't as bad. And then when I got to my, like, third trimester, this little brother was hella big. Like, I was, like, like, huge. I was super, super, super pregnant. And then, um... My baby's birthday is October 24th. Hey, Scorpio babies. And um, when Giannis was born, I had a pretty good labor too. I was in the hospital for three days though. But I had a really, really good labor. Um, he was born and I pushed for two hours and he was born nine pounds. Nine pounds, born at 11.01 p.m. And yeah, that was my baby and being born. And it was the most beautiful thing I have ever experienced in my life. And I will always, always remember and cherish, cherish that moment. Because once you become a mother and once you have your baby in your arm, it is the most beautiful thing that will, you will ever encounter. It, it's beautiful. And I gave it up to all the other mommies 
for real because it is not easy but it's the most beautiful thing ever and um yeah i didn't mean to get emotional with you guys but if you guys do have kids if you guys do know what the the, the love of a mother what it is that you or a parent and not just a mother or father to a parent a, a grandpa grandma you know what it is loving your kids you know what it is and it's it's such a beautiful feeling it's beautiful and yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys about when i found out i was pregnant <laughs> i'm sorry i'm a little <coughs> okay I love you guys all. And thank you guys all for liking and subscribing to me and commenting. Like, I'm already feeling the love. And I love you guys. Okay? And don't forget to follow me at Dishes with Dasha. Dishes with Dasha. D-A-S-H-A. That's me. D-A-S-H-A. I will put it on the comment below. Okay, guys. Bye. Peace.